You know it. You love it. You've at least been haunted by it in your suggestions, and now it's back. Get ready for According to Wings of Fire Wiki 3! I've been getting a lot of requests for this one, so buckle up, it's gonna get weird. Today we'll be doing Sky Wings and Leaf Wings because that's what I felt like doing. Let's start with the most fabulous, Queen Scarlet. Scarlet had dark orange scales and bright yellow eyes that were as sharp as talons. Those are some sharp eyes, Scarlet. Careful. You could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. You know, because they're so sharp. Her orange wings were enormous, and their top side had rubies embedded around the edges. A row of tiny rubies and diamonds were also embedded between the scales over each of her eyes. She was usually wreathed in white smoke emitting from her nostrils in a steady steam that would coil thickly around her horns. She also had a deep, slithering voice. Traitors! Insolent fools! Vaping is very bad for you, children. The other side of her shimmering orange face was melted into a hideous dark mess that misshaped her snout and revealed a glimpse of her jawbone underneath. One eye was pulled down and out of proportion with the rest of her face. Not so sharp now. What a shame. Next up, Kestrel! Kestrel! had jewel-hard, bright red-gold scales the color of rust and flames, orange-yellow eyes, as well as a red tail, wings, and talons. She was enormous, bigger than Scarlet, and had a burn scar on her right cheek. What's the scar look like, though? I mean, there's a lot of different options to choose from here. I'll make it a smiley face. There are also some scorch marks burned across her palms. Let's see if there's any family resemblance in peril. Peril has unusually bright, shimmering, smoking, copper-colored, fiery, metallic orange scales that emit smoke and make her look like she's burning from the inside. She has a long tail, and her glimmering copper wings have veins of gold running through them. She has eerie, flame-blue, and obsidian black eyes, and sharp white teeth. Well, I can see the kestrel in her, but I think she shows spines of resembling someone else as well. I can just feel it in my bones, but I don't have the skulls to put it in words. It's nowhere to be a found. Oh well, I'm sure it'll hit me tomorrow. Moving on. Carnelian was described to have battle-scarred scarlet scales, massive scarlet red wings, and deep orange irises, similar to Cliff's goldfish-colored ones. <gasps> they have similar eyes! Headcanon time! Carnelian was a princess! She was Ruby's daughter, or maybe Vermilion's, or one of the other Skywing princes, and that was the reason she supported Ruby so much. She fought as a soldier, maybe because Scarlet wanted to get rid of her, or maybe because she was hiding from her. It would also make sense why Ruby would want to fly all the way out to Jade Mountain to see her after her death, as though she had lost someone personal, and maybe this is what gave her the kick in the pants to stand up to Scarlet long before Cliff was ever threatened. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. But Sheepy, wouldn't Moon have seen all that in her mind? Leafwing time! Remember that I have made specific instructions on how to draw these leafy fellas in a past video, so feel free to follow along with me. First up, let's do the burly girly herself, Snoodoo. Sundu has a small and wiry body. She has dark forest green scales with flecks of gold all over them. She also has gold scales along the edges of her wings, talons, and across her snout. She wears several small pouches woven from long grass or fashioned from leaves, like her mother. She is slightly smaller than Swordtail. Aw, I always thought of her as the biggest, but she's a short potato. Let's do her, Mom. Belladonna has dark green scales of a lighter shade than Sundews that are dotted with patches of brown. She has sharp green eyes and strange pale burn scars splattered across her talons and her forearms. She should be Kestrel! They can be cranky mothers with dubious talon burn scar buddies! She is much taller than Sundew and has an air of authority around her. She wears several small pouches that are woven from long grass or are fashioned from leaves. Next up, Willow. Willow has pale green scales and underscales dappled with dark green leaf shapes like the shadows of long oval leaves, paler green wings, and she has a darker pine green dappled leaf pattern on her scales like the shadows of long oval leaves. I think I just had a stroke. Am I reading this right? Yeah, okay. Looks so nice, you say it twice. According to Sundu, she has the perfect crinkly and sparkly face. What is she, tinfoil? It has also been noted by Sundu that she carries the scent of mint, chocolate, and new rain. Goody. Someone should make a candle of you. I'd buy it. 
And last but not least, my favorite leafwing, Hawthorne. Hawthorne is gigantic in size. He has long green wings and green eyes. Hey, that rhymes. That's kind of funny. Wait, that's it? That's literally all we get? He was a super creepy, awesome character. My man H. Thizzle deserves at least a scale color. I guess it's nice that they leave it up to your imagination. The book did not not say Hawthorne could have eye-shaped scales and reddish accents and cool stripies and a snakelet and a bunch of root things and a little top hat. It could be canon. And thus concludes our third in this series. Thank you for 30k as well. This channel has been growing so fast and I love that you all are sticking around for it. This has been an amazing two years and I've still got big plans for the future. Comment on your favorite design and I'll see you next time.